Croft. Um, I'm a principal and senior governance consultant at Mercer and I've been here since 1999. I think the first point to make is actually that when we're talking about DB risk we're not just talking about the financials so we're also talking about the non-financial risks that uh, face the trustees and the sponsors of DB schemes. Some of the governance challenges I think are well known and well commented on such as uh, trustee governance structures, the corporate's own structure for managing pensions, uh, lack of time available to trustees to do the job um, and poor or slow decision making processes. I think there are also some other challenges that are less well commented on um, that actually do impact quite significantly on addressing DB risk, namely process behaviours and relationships. In particular, when it comes to process, we find that trustee boards struggle to ensure that their risk management processes really add value to the way that they run their schemes. So we see lots of long risk registers um, that typically are dealt with towards the end of meeting agendas, rather than uh, those risk registers really being used as uh, important tools in the running of the scheme. And then there's the B word, behaviours. You can have a clear governance structure and all the process you like, but effective governance really relies on the uh, adoption of appropriate governing behaviours. So what I mean by that is all of the individuals around the trustee board table taking the technical knowledge that they have and applying it to the subject matter and as a group making truly effective decisions. Finally, to a large degree, running pension schemes is about relationship management and complex stakeholder management. In a lot of cases, this isn't explicitly recognised by trustee boards and sponsoring employers, or it lacks sufficient formality or a commercial footing. But I think this is starting to change. Our view is that improving trustee board and corporate pensions governance is in itself a tool in the box for managing DB risk. It makes sense at the start of a journey planning or a risk management exercise to review all aspects of scheme governance to ensure fitness for the journey ahead. If I can be excused for mixing my metaphors further, Abraham Lincoln said, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I'll spend the first four sharpening the axe. So top tips um, for trustee boards, I think there are three. Firstly, to ensure that as a board, they have agreed strategic objectives. Uh, how can they score a goal when they don't know where they're aiming? In the absence of collectively agreed obje objectives, the danger is that decisions are made based on individuals' personal preferences, backgrounds and views. Secondly, I think many trustee boards are grappling with the issue of how to make best use of their risk registers. Actually, I think the question should be, which are the small number, say five key risks that would really have an impact on how you run your scheme and focus your time on those. The others, of course, should be overseen but can have far less time spent on them.